Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Ed Hotto Show for week number two. As the Mustangs get ready to open up at home against the Dutchman of Lebanon Valley in MAC competition, I'm James Wagner. I'll get to talk about my shirt in a minute, but uh, here with Coach Ed Hoddle after week number one, the victory over Rowan. Coach, congratulations on the season opening win. And uh, we'll dissect that a little bit. Obviously, a Thursday night game in um, in New Jersey. And But your thoughts on the, the contest against Rowan? We got done what we needed to get done. Um, it wasn't always pretty. Um, the biggest thing for me was being able to rally back from 10 down early. Um, you know, whenever you put yourself in that big of a hole that early in the first football game of the year, there is concern. But our guys were never rattled. Um, they never seemed to be flustered. They rallied together and knew that it was just just got to keep putting one good play together at a time. And they did a good job. I was I was pleased. Uh, I was impressed. Um, it's nice to overcome that adversity on the mm-hmm. road in week one. It kind of gives you, galvanizes you a little bit, and hopefully we can take some of that momentum into Saturday. We'll talk a little bit about that run, that beginning. Obviously, first kickoff of the year, you you, you fumble the opening kickoff, but you make a good defensive stop. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that first quarter, you're down 10 nothing. And I'm looking through the drive chart, and I'm seeing that you long sustained drives in the second quarter. Um, what was the kind of the message to your offensive unit at that point? Well, it's, it's just – Again, it's stacking good plays. Um, you know, we, we had made some adjustments in the run game, which opened up the running game a little bit. Um, we'd actually had the conversation as a staff. You know, we were trying to be a little bit conservative with play calling for Nair in, in the first quarter, his first start. And we're mm-hmm. like, all right, we're down 10. We, get, we got to turn him loose a little bit. Right. And his credit, he did a great job. Mm-hmm. You know, he rebounded from that. Um, you know, in your first start, you know, Throwing a pick six, that's that's a tough spot. And I mm-hmm. said, hey, man, look, you know, he, he, everything's going to be all right. Just keep doing what you're doing. And and he handled it really, really well. And so, um, you know, we started to open things up a little bit in the second quarter and able to get, you know, get right back in it. And, you know, we'd have liked to have taken the lead into the locker room. Um, but, again, first time in a two-minute situation on the defensive side of the ball, certainly some things that we've worked to clean up um, from that, um, you know, but – you know, again, proud of the effort, proud of being able to come back. And then, you know, shutting them out in the second half was a big deal. Um, Brody Campbell having, you know, eight points, you know, the two the two field goals and the two extra points certainly making the difference in the game. So, um, you know, being able to fire on all cylinders, special teams wise, was good to see. Um, still much to clean up, you mm-hmm. know, week one to week two is always mop up time so to speak yeah let's talk about that second half it was a lot of ball control you guys seemed to keep the ball for a lot um and obviously coming at the end of the first half when rowan scores that touchdown with no time left um you guys come back and and shut them out in the second half uh what was the message to the defensive unit going into that second half well again right you know there was no there was nothing in the locker room to indicate anybody was hanging their head. Guys were still pumped up, excited to play. And, you know, the, the message was we've got to be able to finish. We, you know, we needed to finish the game, finish each play. Um, you know, and the guys, you know, they, they did a great job. And, you know, first games are always challenging because we're going off of last year's film. Mm-hmm. So a lot of it's guesswork. And, you know, I, I talked to the staff. And, as a matter of fact, I've, I've talked to my family a great deal about it, who's going to win, who's going to win. And, mm-hmm. Whoever makes the fewest mistakes, right? That's really what first games comes down to because there isn't a ton of game planning. You think you know, and you may be right, mm-hmm. you may not be right. But I think as we adjusted at halftime, you know, the game kind of came to us defensively, and um, the guys did a great job. Okay, well, let's turn our attention to the Dutchman Eleven and Valley. Obviously, they had a tough game Friday night at home against FNM, lost close to the, the Diplomats. What can we expect out of the Dutchman today? Um, fast, physical. Um, you know, that's kind of their deal. They, they want to line up and they want to beat you up a little bit. And we've got to match that physicality, uh, match that level of intensity. And, and, you know, I think if we play the way we're capable of playing, you know, we should be fine. You, you know, we start letting them dictate, you know, clock management. We let them hold the ball for sustained drives. We find ourselves in trouble. So um, from our perspective, we've got to clean up all of the things from Friday night or from Thursday night you know, make progress, take steps forward as a team on Saturday. It has to feel that you've had two scrimmages on the road, you've had the opening game on the road, and now you're finally home. I'm glad to be home. (laughs) Um, You know, again, I think that the the two road scrimmages led well to the opener being on the road. Um, And obviously we practice here every day, but being in front of the home fans for the first time is going to be super exciting. Um, It's always loud here. 
it's always adverse for our fans here and I, I you know I love it you know I think it's it's phenomenal it's a great environment and we're super excited to be at home and obviously I'll explain my shirt so it's Hawaiian shirt day on Saturday part of some of the new uh, things that we're trying here at, at uh, Mustang Stadium for games. So if you're coming to the game, feel free to wear your favorite Hawaiian shirt or your favorite Jimmy Buffett shirt in, in memory of Jimmy Buffett. I've seen a concert a couple of times. Ed, do you have a favorite Hawaiian shirt or a favorite Jimmy Buffett memory? I actually do not own a Hawaiian shirt. Okay. I'm, I'm sure my wife will see this and there will be one on the kitchen counter when I get home. So. Maybe I'll wear a Hawaiian shirt, too. Okay, good. Well, good luck this week against the Dutchman. Thank you. And as always, you can watch it here on GoMustangSports.tv as the Mustangs take on the Dutchman 11 Valley opening MAC play at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next week, and go Stangs.